The new Netflix documentary, White Hot, The Rise and Fall of Abercrombie & Fitch, describes what many of the young people buying the ANF's brand knows completely, and how the brand targeted racist, sexist, fatphobic American fantasy around the globe. I'm really shocked about how the store discriminated against other races in the past. I'm glad they're under new management now. CEO Mike Jeffries was the mastermind behind the company in the 1990s. He monitored the attractiveness of sales associates and gave store managers handbooks with racist rules about appearance. Throughout the 2000s and early 2010s, the brand faced several lawsuits, including the company's biased hiring practices that sparked a class action lawsuit in which they accused of discriminating against people of color and women by offering positions to Caucasian males instead. In 2014, after the brand's popularity began to dwindle, Jeffrey stepped down as CEO. A white woman, Franz Horowitz, came into the picture to help clean up the mess. Since then, Abercrombie has launched a rebrand. The image on the brand's website and in-stores include black faces and other people of color, as well as bodies of more sizes and gender expressions. As a frequent shopper, I'm glad they're more inclusive with their vision. You can now catch White Hot, the rise and fall of Abby Crombie and Fitch on Netflix out now. This is Richie Quintero for KCSN News.